Welcome to my new devlog, and this time with a new microphone, and I want to tell you what I did in the last two months. I reworked my light sources and how they can be used within the API. At first, they were used like a stack. That made a lot of things complicated, as it was possible to accidentally delete more than one light, if you weren't cautious enough. Now, the lights are working independently. I added an additional layer of complexity by remapping the ID of the light to its number in the uniform buffer object for the shader. This also means that it is now possible to use up to 128 lights now. In addition to the 3D render, there is now a 2D render as well, but there are some structural differences between the two of them. When a 3D object is created, then there will be also an entry in the 3D rendering list added, and if the 3D object is not supposed to be visible, then it will be made invisible by basically skipping the object in the renderer list. The big difference to the 2D renderer is that a 2D object is manually issued to be rendered each frame. The 2D objects will be rendered in the order of their issued render calls after the 3D renderer has done its job. This is being done because the engine doesn't know in which order the engine's user wants everything to be rendered. It is also now noteworthy that the engine can now handle transparency and text rendering in 2D, which adds a lot of necessary functionality to the engine. After finally having all the basic features, I wanted to start a small 3D game. And since many people told me after seeing my tech demo that rocket jumps are missing, I wanted to make a game with rocket jumps. It is supposed to be some kind of racing game with FPS movement and a rocket launcher for rocket jumps. And sadly I discovered that my FPS camera code is broken, so I had to fix that. Also my engine's math API was absolutely terrible to use, so I had to fix that too. And the next step was discovering that I need collision checks as well. This led to my game barely improving, while I worked mostly on the engine. But now I have collisions with axis aligned bounding boxes that can be rotated even if this rotating thing is a little bit off still. But it kind of works. In the last two months I had a hard time working on my project due to a number of reasons. At first I had a lot of headache and to improve my situation I bought computer glasses to block the blue light to ease my eyes. And they were really a good investment and they were only about 20 euros. But sadly I also have a stiff neck very often but I also don't have a good chair, so my sitting position is maybe a little bit weird and not too comfortable. But I started to do sports again to improve my general well-being. Yet still, I have this uh, stiff neck issue. It hasn't gone away, but it's better than before. And additionally, I had to look for a new apartment, which can also be a quite demanding task, time-wise and energy-wise. It is often not mentioned online in the programming space, but the past two months taught me to take my well-being into consideration, the physical and the mental well-being. So I would say grinding through issues or your career is not a real solution. But anyway, this was my latest devlog and I hope you enjoyed it. And I would be happy to hear from you as well and your experiences with your mental well-being and your physical health and let me know in the comments and see you next time.